Okay. So as we get started, you're flinging out tension, worry, frustration, negativity, anything that does not serve you, health issues, financial issues, anything does not help you, just let it go right now. Let all tension ooze out of your body, be released, evaporate out of your body, and then give yourselves a pat on the back for turning on your Zoom. Hug his smile, here we are together on this beautiful Friday morning. Wow, what a gorgeous day. We all deserve a pat on the back. And let the motion subside. And notice your breathing, any pulsation of chi through the body. Sit on the saddle, gather a basket of unconditional love. Now, my palms are up, my shoulders are down, my shoulders are kissing, and the arms are slightly bent. And as my knees are bent, not too much, but enough that you feel that you're sinking, like you're standing on a stool or sitting on a stool. The hips stay forward and just let the one hand come forward as the back hand gives chi, but keep the hips forward. Come center, relax, breathing. And the other side. So your chest is wide open. You're feeling opening of the spine, shoulders are down. Come center. And as you keep the fa your face forward the whole time, we're gonna release the basket, pick it up on the other side, and we sing our song. Love is something if you give it away, give it away, give it away. Love is something if you give it away, it comes right back to you. Standing grace, hug his smile, see if you feel more chi flow in your body. Step back on one foot, sink down, gather chi up and paint a beautiful rainbow behind you. Gathering, creating beautiful rainbows after a rain. I hope you saw some beautiful rainbows. I did not, but I heard that they did exist. Beautiful rainbows in the sky. I saw a big giant one and Joyce in my neighborhood. <laughs> How wonderful. And come upright, find the balance between both sides. Step back again, sink down, gather chair, paint another rainbow. And come upright and feel a little more balanced on both sides. Lovely. Soften both knees, hands on the hips, and visualize we're going to Hawaii. And as we're going round and round, when the hips are forward, weights on the toes, hips weight, hips are back, weights on the heels, hips to the side, weight on the side foot. So you're really feeling the feet getting the massage as the ankles are loose, the hip sockets soft. All the vertebrae of the spine, relax, shoulders, elbows, wrist, finger, neck, and jaw. Everything is fluid, total fluidity in your body. Drop your tail and massage where you need it the most. I know where I need it. So I'm placing she where I need it in my own body. And now before we go to the other side, I want you to lift the fingers and toes. I want you to twinkle toes. So as I lift the fingers and toes, I'm also lifting the, um, the lower gate, the perineum, the Kegel. I'm lifting chi up. Keep the toes lifted, feel the ball, the big toe, little toe, heel. Feel a balance between the inner foot and the outer foot and Really connected, send roots into the earth, the depth of your height, and the toes spread out five or six feet in all directions. Soften the knees and like a thirsty tree, we're going to gather energy from the roots through the trunk to the top of the tree as you breathe in. And on the breath out, your tree blossoms like the beautiful magnolia and fruit trees around. Allow energy to rise from the roots through the trunk up to the heaven. When a tree blossoms, it's at the peak of its energy. So allow your energy to receive, your body to receive energy from the earth so it can begin to flourish and peak. Beautiful. 
and we're going to reverse. Arms go out and up now as the palms are up, shoulders are down. And continue with the shoulders down as we visualize beyond the ceiling, beyond the blue sky, beyond the sun, the moon and the stars. This infinite energy is pure healing light. Visualize this healing light slowly pouring into every cell of your body. For the hands face, it illuminates that part of the body, dissolving tension. Dissolving blockage. Dissolving dis-ease and diseases out of your body, down into the earth and the roots below. As we stand in grace, hug, kiss, smile. I know we haven't gone the other direction, but bring the feet together. Feel the feet rooted, tail rooted, and middle finger at the kidneys, and allow your tree to dance in the breeze. So as your feet are rooted, the upper body is totally fluid. If you need the feet more open for balance, please do so. Come up and down along the small of the back and back and forth along the waist and go the other direction. So I'm really allowing my upper body to dance freely in the breeze. And then come to the center, one palm over the heart, the other palm over that. We smile into your heart. Smiling has a profound effect on the functioning of your organs. So when you smile in the heart, you're giving good chi to every cell of your body. Now we'll open up our feet hip width distance. Come on the ball of the foot so you feel where Wan Tiao is. And go the other side, feeling your Wan Tiao. And then the center of your palm. Lao is on Wan Tiao, soften the knees and feel the feet evenly distributed between the front, back, in, out. And now we're going to go the other direction, going to the left side. So as the feet stay rooted, the rest of the body is totally fluid. Total fluidity in every part of your body. And then drop your tail and massage again. The healing palms getting good chi where you need it the most. And standing grace and feel the inner thighs hug, shoulder blades kiss, feel the inner smile. Oh, you are looking good. Let's bring our feet together again. Put the middle finger in the navel and lift in and up. So we're breathing in the belly. The belly is in, but you're still breathing down there. Keep the core lifted as you bend the knees with the flat back. So there's no weight on the knees. I'm activating the core. And I'm going to go to my right first, circling. And then massage the knees, loving energy to your knees. Keeping the core lifted. And we go the other direction. And massage the knees. And as we hug the inner thighs, lift the heels. And we're going to go to the right. As you massage the ball of the foot, you only chin. The first point on the kidney meridian. And your laogan palms on one chi apple on the outside of the leg. Hands on the knees, lift the core, go to the other direction. And open your feet hip with distance. Draw good shift the inside, the inside of the body. Bend the knees and roll up and massage where you need it the most. I know where I need it. And then we'll standing, race, hug, kiss, smile, and feel more blood flow, more chi flow in your body. Nice. Now our hands are going to draw energy up like a magnet from the earth through the roots into the lower belly and smile when you come to the lower belly. The thumbs are two inches apart, the index finger one inch apart under the armpit. 
is open and you're hovering over the belly, giving good shes, you smile and breathe into the lower dantian. This in itself is a standing breathing meditation when you put the tongue at the upper palate, relax and breathe. Then bring your third finger to the heart center, the middle dantian. We have one straight line between elbow, third finger to elbow, shoulder blades kiss. Still breathing in the lower belly, the lower dantian. Third finger to the third eye, yin tongue, as you relax your mind. Relax breathing. Third finger to by with the crown. If you're able to go there, interlace fingers, giving more blood chi into the brain. And then gently rotate the palms out and up. Shoulders are down and elbows are as lengthened as much as they're able to. Eyes stretch up. And as you bend the knees, we're going to just tilt back towards the heaven and center. As the hips are forward, you get to go back without bending your back. And then go to the right side four times to your right. And to the left. Now we're going to, as if we're unzipping a zipper, thumbs go down the center. We're going to go down and out, releasing any stagnant energy in the upper body. Body remains upright as we're just making a circle, fleshing out all negativity. And standing, raise inner thighs, hug, shoulder blades, kiss, feel the inner smile. And we're going to imagine bending. The palms face the earth, the eyes face the earth. You are upright. But with your mind's eye, we're connecting to energy from the earth. And the hands will draw chi up to the outside of your right heel, using the mind to send the chi to the earth. And draw chi up to the outside of the leg. And come center. And we're going to bend the knees with the flat back, folding at the quad with the flat back. Knees are bent. We face the earth. The hands will draw chi up the outside of the right heel. Draw chi up outside the left heel. Slide in the middle, relax the head down and come up vertebrae by vertebrae, feet rooted, tail rooted, core lifted, standing in grace, like this smile. Next time we're going to roll down, head goes down, shoulders go down, lift the core as you round your upper body down towards the earth, totally relaxing the head, neck, shoulders. The hands will draw chi up outside the right heel. Draw chi up outside the left heel. Slide in the middle, bend the knees and roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. Feel the feet rooted, the tail rooted, building all the vertebrae of the spine. Hug kids, smile. Lovely. Now we're going to barely bend. Really activating the core muscles. We only bend about 15 degrees. We're activating this core. So it's really a uh, it's a workout for this part of the body, so it relaxes the back as you activate the core. Lift chi up the outside of the right heel. Lift chi up outside the left heel. Slide in the middle and come upright, back in grace, head kiss, smile. Now you can go beyond the barely bend. What is important that you're activating the core and bending from the quad? You can also bend the knees if you have back problems. But go for your bend of the day. Enjoy it. Folding over, relaxing, and breathing. The hands will draw chi up outside the right heel. Draw chi up outside the left heel. Slide in the middle, bend the knees, and roll up vertebrae by vertebrae, feet rooted, tail rooted, coming all the way up, standing in grace, hug, kiss, smile. 
Lovely. Now open the feet here for distance and sit on the saddle of your horse and really feel the feet really connected. So the front and back of the foot are evenly distributed, the inner and outer foot evenly distributed. And then put all the weight on one foot. And we're going to allow the energy to rise from the roots up the leg, because both knees are bent, into the lower belly and then down into the other foot. We're creating a rainbow. Energy rises from the earth up into the lower belly with your relaxed breathing and sinks back into the earth. Upper body, hug, kiss, smile as we do our up, right, bear, rainbow, bear. Calming the mind. As all the weights on one foot, you're feeling the thigh hugging the bone, strengthening bone matter, helping to prevent osteoporosis or slow it down. So it's a good way to calm the mind as you strengthen the body, strengthen the immune system, activate more blood and chi flow in the body. Very calming, especially when you're waiting in line or waiting for something to happen like water to boil. And then come center, drop the paws that you're upright and look at the hands and see if they are redder. Are they bright red? If they are, show me your hands. So I know that you receive more chi in your body. Lovely, come back down on the saddle. It's all the weights on your left foot. The right heel touches the leg is, uh, the toes point to the ceiling. I'm going to again bend at the paw, lift the core, go over the left thigh with the long spine. So my right leg is getting a wonderful stretch. Now I'm going to go over the right leg and warm it up as you relax the spine. Hands over the right knee, elongate the spine. Your nose is over your second toe. Index fingers sink to the earth like roots of a tree. Thumb index, middle finger, send roots, tan finger. As you look between your first and second toe, touch it or imagine holding it. Another thing to do is you put your hands on the knees and have your chin sink to the toe. And then send roots to the earth, all 10 fingers again. And again, connect to where you can. And then give love taps. All the way down from one heel down towards the ankle. My right hand goes down the outside, my left hand comes up the inside, the inside. Bring the feet back parallel, slowly come up. Feel the feet rooted, tail rooted, standing, grace side, kiss smile. You're gonna feel lopsided. One side's more stretched than the other. Relax, breathing, sit on the side of the horse. So I'm putting all the weight on the other leg. The standing leg has support, bent knee, heel. I'm going to go over the bent knee with the flat back. Then go over straight leg and warm it up. Hands over the knee, elongate the spine. Index finger sinks to the earth. Thumb index middle finger sink. Ten fingers sink. As you look between the first and second toe, either hold the toe or imagine chin to toe or put your hands on the knee. Breathe into it. One more time, send the roots to the earth. And hold either the toe or above the knee or imagine. And then give love back. My outer hand goes down the outside, my inner hand comes up the inside, the inside. And come back parallel and slowly come up, standing in grace, hug his smile. Notice what a stretch we have just done. I hope you didn't overdo it. Be gentle to yourself. Put your middle finger at Ming Man at the kidneys, soften both knees all the way down the left foot as I draw the right toe in. Look at a point in the distance and see if you can balance on one leg. The inner thighs are hugging, even though you can hold on to something, that is fine. 
and come down. Step out, standing leg is bent, draw that other leg in, come up. And come down, step out. This time as the leg comes up, we're gonna go across the body. Take a step up, <coughs> excuse me, and the other side. And then boot out of your system, any tension, any worry, any frustration, any negativity, boot it out of your system. And really let it go out, 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 and go higher if you can, just really boot it out of your system. Working the claw, activating the lymph nodes. And then we're going to start low, point the toe, and go across the body. And go higher, do a little can-can, all of us together. We're 13 of us doing the can-can together. Can you imagine all of us together? And stand in grace, hug his smile, feel more blood flow, more chi flow through your body. We're ready for Sigfield Follies. <laughs> Okay, soften the knees and allow energy to rise from the earth into the lower dantian, smiling and breathing. Up to your heart center and open your heart to this beautiful flock of geese I see before me, 13 of us, all interconnected. Relax the elbows, shoulders kiss, soften the knees and the ankles. And our third finger, the heart protector, connects all of us together in one giant circle. Imagine us all at the duck pond, eight, 10 feet apart, this beautiful circle that we are connecting together. The center of our circle is filled with light and healing energy. If your arms hurt, you can always bring the arms down, but keep your third finger connected energetically connected for all of us together. And visualize someone you're caring for in the middle, receiving this healing light, this healing energy. Now visualize yourself standing in the middle, basking and receiving. Gather yeah, you back to yourself. Give yourself a wonderful hug. And then open your heart to this beautiful flock again. This beautiful big circle. Soften the shoulders, the elbows, the knees. All 10 fingers connect. All 10 toes connect. We're one web of healing energy creating this beautiful circle of life. Healing circle feeling pure gratitude for all the blessings in our life. For being here today, connecting with each other. Feeling gratitude that most of us have received some vaccination to keep us healthy so that we can hug our loved ones in the near future. Now we send healing blessings to all those in need on this planet, especially all the people who are out there working hard so we can be safe at home, all the healthcare workers giving us our vaccinations and all the farmers farming the organic foods that we can buy them and the store clerks and everyone who was working hard so we can be safe, giving pure gratitude for all the blessings in our life on this beautiful spring day. Then gather the chi back to yourself and hug it up. We all deserve this healing energy. And bring your feet together. Inner thighs hug, shoulder blades kiss, feel the inner smile. The right arm is gonna wrap around your neck. Your left elbow is going to hook the right elbow to the left side as you turn your head to the right. 
your right hand tries to touch your right ear, left hand faces left ear, lower the tail, lift the core, and spiral your eyes up over the right shoulder. Trying to look at the full moon, or actually the new moon. And then push back, really stack the energy out of the body. And take your left arm, let it wrap around the neck, let the right elbow hook it to the right side, head to the left, left hand tries to touch left ear, right hand faces right ear. Lower the tail, lift the core, look over the left shoulder, spiraling to the full moon. Spiraling like DNA. And then release, push back. And we're going to preen your wings, fingers wide open. And then palms up, really stagnant energy out. And the other side, fingers wide open. And release. And I want you to put your hands on the hips and lunge in your left leg, bring the hips facing that left leg, bend that right elbow, and we're gonna circle that right shoulder. So it's like a little locomotive train. You're feeling the shoulder blade sliding along the back. And then lower the shoulder and the arm down, keep the shoulder down as you continue opening the chest. The chest stays facing the same direction. We don't open it with the arm. Relax breathing and then we reverse. Bend the elbow, shoulder back, up, forward, down. Really feel the shoulder moving along this back, just really moving freely. Shoulder way up to the ears and then way down. Then lengthen the arm down and the baby finger is going to like cut through the space. Left toe turns in, hip down the heel, right turn turns out, the hips follow that right leg and that left elbow and let the shoulder, left shoulder come forward up, back down. Then lengthen the arm down, shoulder stays down. As you open as much as you're able to, be gentle with the shoulder to keep the chest facing forward. Relax breathing and reverse. Then the elbow shoulder goes way up to the ear, forward, down. Really massaging big circles. Then lower the arm and the shoulder stays down. Lengthen the elbow as you slice down gently. Now both arms are gonna flip flop over the shoulder into the kidneys. So I'm getting my knee hand and back and my lung points in the shoulders. Release, turn the right toe and pivot so that the toe goes in. And then pivot the other toe on the heel, goes out, facing that same direction as the leg, and again. And step back and see if you feel more chi flow in the body, more vibrational energy in the body. Lovely. We're going to now do our points. So you can do the standing or seated. I'm going to come forward. Hopefully you feel more blood flow, more chi flow in your body right now. I certainly do. And we're gonna start with your Laogon point. The center of the palm, you're gonna place the thumb. And you're going to breathe in as you gently press the log on the center of the palm. And breathe out as you relax. Breathing in that gentle pressure. And breathe out, relax. Calming the mind. Gentle pressure in. It is very calming. And then stretch from the center out. Each finger goes from the center out. Really get each finger stretching back. And go to the other Laogon. Put the thumb inside, relax, 
Sitting, hug his smile, press, breathe in. Breathe out, relax. Your own breath rhythm. Then we're going to stretch from the center, stretching each finger back. And then our next point is Hegu, the fleshy point between the thumb and index finger. We gently press, coming in, breathe in. And breathe out, relax. This is for the large intestine for constipation, headaches, dehydration. And the other side, relax, gentle breathing, pressure in. Relax on the breath out. Okay, our next point, neck one, three finger scouts on or over the wrist line or below the wrist line, one, two, three, where the third finger is, I put the thumb at neck one and I gently press into neck one as I breathe in. And gentle release pressure on the breath out. Again, it's on the heart protector, it's good for anxiety, it's good for motion sickness. When we go to the other side, when you come to your neguan, opposite neguan is wagwan. And we want to now think of the pressure on the outer point as you press in. This is a gentle regulator, like a thermostat in the body. Gentle, I'm pressing both inner and outer, but I'm focusing now on the outer point with my relaxed breath. Okay, now follow your thumb to the crease of the elbow. To the end of the crease, you'll come to a tender spot, chise on the lung meridian. This is good for breathing problems and tendonitis. And then just beyond that point, if you go just before the elbow bone, if you go over the tendon, we have another point, a probiotic point. Good for increasing flora in the intestine, helping digestion. Relax breathing as you do this. And the other side, so I'm gonna follow the thumb to the crease. So I come to cheesing. And I go beyond the tendon to the probiotic point. And then I'm going to take my right laogon and put it under my left elbow with the points. And I'm going to rock forward as I give chi under the arm without touching all the way past the fingertips. The other palm under the elbow. And I'm just going to gently give myself a chi bath from the elbows to the fingertips. So the outer arm is giving chi to the yang meridians, the inner arm, the yin meridians. So the channels that we're working on, the yang meridian, are the large intestine, uh, the um, let's see, large intestine, triple energizer, and the small intestine. The inner arm is giving chi to the heart, the lungs, and the heart protector. So it's just a way of regulating chi in the body, rocking forward and rocking back. So you're rocking with the flat back from the quad with the flat back coming forward and back. So just feel this energetic massage. The hands are about an inch or two away and you may feel that you, you may feel the heat that your palms are giving you with this energetic massage under the arm and back. And then just rest the hands on the thighs. Notice the breathing. Notice any sensations you may feel. I'm feeling my hands are buzzing with chi. 
just giving chi to those different parts. Lovely. Now it takes your index finger to the inner collar. The thumb goes to the outer collar bone. Find the middle of each bone. Index finger on top at chwepin, say chwepin. Thumb below at chihu, say chihu. And we're going to first move our little gosling wings. And for those who were here last week, uh, when we did the um, flap wings, I said we flap wings like this, back and forth. For This is for beginning geese, the, the little gosling. For those who have been with me for a while, we, the right elbow goes back stroke, the left elbow goes front stroke. So I'm creating a different kind of energy through all the meridians in the body. And if you're new, just flap your wings. Please don't get too concerned about what's going on here. And then we're gonna go the other way. Left elbow's gonna come up, back stroke, and the right elbow goes forward. So we're massaging our lung points. We're connecting to the different channels of the body. And when we do the standing, the hand is either on the foot or on the knee and it creates a macrobiotic massage of energy through the body. So right now we're just preparing that. And now relax and notice your breathing. Is it fuller? Mine definitely is more life energy, more oxygen into the lungs. Lovely, very nice. Um, the next point we're gonna do, third, uh, let's get Dow about. I'm going to raise my right arm up, the left hand under the armpit. I'm going to take my right thumb under the left baby finger till I come to an owl at Dow Bell. So this upper hand goes under the other hand. So bring that hand down under. So there's no hands up. The hand that's up is now underneath. And it may be a little tender. That's on the spleen channel, strengthening the immune system. And then the other hand, the hand is up. The other hand under the armpit and the hand that cut is up is gonna come down under the baby finger on the side until you find your owl. When you come to your owl, you know you came to Dao Bao. And then with both palms, we're gonna give good chi to Dao Bao. Feel the shoulder blades kissing as you do this. Really good for the heart, for the lungs and for the breasts. And then get the lymphatic system at the groin, at the qua. And then we're going to put the third finger at the third eye yin tongue. We're going to gently press away any tension from yin tongue to tai yang at the temples and gently rub it out. From yin tongue, gently press away tension, worry, headaches, and rub it out your own breath rhythm. Then we come to the inner corner of the eye, Jing Ming, right eye point. So it's just at the corner of the eye and we go underneath the eye, creating, just washing away any tears, any extra sleep that didn't get washed away this morning. And then the outer corner of the nose, yin xiang, welcome fragrance point. And we're massaging here. Make sure you're outside the nostril, not inside the nostril. And then we go underneath the cheekbone, create a great big clown smile. Really follow under that. So the outer corner under the cheekbone, that great big clown smile. Now we're going to take two fingers like you're brushing your teeth on the outside. The other hand supports the chi. And this is good for toothaches and gum diseases. And go the other direction. Now pinch your lower jaws if you had a beard. Pinch, release, pinch, release, pinch, release. Go all the way out from the center out. This is good for the lymph nodes. 
And then index finger under the ear. You know where you are when you open and close the mouth. You can feel that jaw connection. Middle finger over the flap. And now we're going to make faces, a Halloween monster mask sounds and faces. Uh, loosen up the jaw, loosen up the face. Make as weird sounds and faces as you can. Stretching your mouth, your face in every direction you can think of. Ah. We hold a lot of tension. It's really important to loosen it up. And then find your earlobes and massage your earlobes as we have acupressure points in your ears connected to your entire body. So we want to really massage every part. And then take the inner crevices. Massaging and then two fingers like we're going to put the ear in the middle and fluff good chi up. Fluffing is so important. We want the chi to go up and not down. And then shake out toxic, negative, anything in your body, shake it out, 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 out. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Don't hold on to anything. And sit in grace, hug his smile. Ah, notice that breath of life flowing through you, through every cell of your body. Now we're going to place your laugan palm over the knee so that the fingers are just resting over the kneecap. So laugan over the knee, inner thighs hug, shoulder blades kiss, feel the inner smile, tongue touches upper palate. And as you notice your breathing, you're going to kiss the shoulder blades and rotate the palms up. So the shoulders stay down. And as the hands come up overhead, we're going to shine light on the hairline and finally having a little hairline. And the light is now slowly coming down to the third eye. I'm looking at the third eye, the third finger towards the third eye. And as the hands start to come down, the eyes become heavy. As the hands give chi to the throat chakra, the eyes are heavier. The hands come to the heart chakra. The eyes are very heavy. Down to the solar plexus, looking internally. The hands come to the lower dantian. The eyes are almost closed. And then they close as you rest the hands on the knees. Inner thighs hug, shoulder blades kiss, feel the inner smile, tongue touching upper palate. And we're going to take six very slow breaths in and out. And take your palms and gently rub them together. Feel the heat between the palms. The eyes are closed, but we're going to gather chi under the chin and wash face, comb hair. Palms are facing the face, elbows stay forward, hands come to the crown of the head, elbows open up, and then give chi down the back of the head, the back of the neck, and we hold chi under chin. Six more times, we're going to wash face, comb hair, elbows forward, and then they open up when they come to the crown.
After the sixth one, we take this protective halo and we gently pour the chi down the back of the head, neck, shoulders, spine, trickling all the way down. As we sit in grace, hug his smile, rotate the palm, shoulder blades kiss. We gather chi one more time to the hair chi height like a halo and pour this healing light down into every cell of your body as you relax the mind. Strength in the heart. Nourish the body. And rest the hands on the thighs. Just notice how you feel. More sense, more relaxed. Okay, we are done with our warm up and we're going to move on to the steps of the form. I'm going to add two more movements today. Um, so We'll stand up and do them later, but I want to go from bend at a, a number 11, well, turning hands, which is 10, and then we'll go down to, we're sitting, but you're going to imagine bending center, the hands will lift up, bending to the left side, hands come up, push to the right side, slide in the middle, and as we turn hands, number 12, we turn the palms forward and your right hand comes under the left elbow and your left foot is out and you're going to rock forward under the left elbow all the way back to the fingertips and then under the right elbow all the way back, a rocking horse. Number 13, your hands create a claw. They come above the collar with Schweppin. Right hand faces the left foot. The right foot comes all the way up, looking at the palm. We are restoring chi, bringing it down either to the left foot, but actually bring it to your left knee. So we're going to rest the hand on the knee. And then we're going to push the forefoot number 14 four times, or three times. One, elbows out, two, three. So that's the beginning one of push forefoot. Now, if you're advanced, your left elbow comes up and your right elbow goes forward three times. Two, three. That's number 13. Number 14, you push chi. I'm on my left heel. I'm going to bring it forward on the heel so the toe comes parallel. And then with my right hand, I'm gonna push chi. This is called push chi number 15. I'm pushing out any negativity out to the side, one foot far, not too far. Then turn the palm back and come upright. And we will close. So the two movements for today that we are adding on is the push the forefoot and the push the chi. So let's do this again from number 10, close nine, close hands, turn 10, turn hands over. So I want you to feel the stretch of the spine. You really feel the whole body stretched. And then we come center for bending number 11. Hands will draw chi up the outside of the left foot. We press down. We draw chi up to the outside of the right foot. We push down. We come in the middle. And as we push, turn the palms out, turning hands, number 12. Put the right hand under left elbow and we pivot to the left foot. I'm on the left ball of the foot. As I come forward, under the elbow, past the fingertips. Left hand under the right elbow, come back. My left hand creates a claw or a beak, all fingers together. Above the left collar at Schweppin. This is number 13. I face, my right hand faces the left foot, the right foot, out to the side, drop the shoulder and elbow, but the hand rises and it's going to face the left knee, come down towards the knee, touching. 
And if you're new, you're going to flap the wings three times, push four foot, which is number 14. If you're more advanced, the left elbow goes back and the right elbow goes forward three times. That's push four foot. And number 15, you put the left toe down, but then open the heel so you're more parallel. The right hand's going to push chi, number 15. Turn the palm back, come upright, and we close. So now we're going to do one through um, 16, uh, push chi 15 a few times, and then we'll go through the whole form. But I just wanted to give you the basis of what we're doing before we stood. So we come to standing form, hug his smile. Lovely. Your lap on palms get you to one chi. I'll go down the outside of the arm meridians. The gallbladder channel come down towards the baby toe. And we come to stretch wings. Hips forward on the balls of the foot. Lower the heels as you close wings into our standing meditation where we have the thumbs two inches apart, index finger one inch apart, hovering over the belly. We drop the fingers as she rises up to the heart. As we push wings and set, push and set your wings, palms are forward. Activate the core slightly forward. Then you turn the palms as you come upright. Hands go behind you, creating that claw. Come to the kidneys, lift the heel, and we release. And we repeat that. You look between the palms. Fingers are up and out, activate the core. And push as you come upright. And behind you, create the claw. Take your decision to lift the heels and release. Now we're going to come to lift. Hands come to the chest, under the chin, washing face, all the way up to by with the crown. We open the elbows and interlace fingers. As you turn palms over, lengthen the elbows, shoulders down, eyes are up. We activate the core as we barely bend center. The hands lift up, come to the outside of the left foot, push down. The hands draw chi up outside the right foot, push down, slide in the middle. And as we turn palms, we're gonna create a rocking horse bend on the right knee, pivot on the ball, the left foot, right hand under left elbow, rock forward, giving chi to the elbow, past the fingertips. Rock back in the right foot from the elbow, past the fingertips. We create a claw at the collar, right hand gives chi to the left foot, right foot, and as you drop the elbow and shoulder down, palm is up, and you're going to give chi from the palm to the knee, but you imagine it to the left foot, but bend the right knee as you go down. And we're going to either push the forefoot three times for beginners, or circle, left elbow goes back, right elbow goes forward three times. Then as you put the toe down, you open the heel wider, parallel, and we're gonna push chi with the right hand. One foot far, and then bring the hand in to come upright, and we will close. Slowly bringing chi to every part of your body. We're gonna do that one more time without me talking, and then we're going from the very beginning to the very end. And here we go, just the first 15 movements.
move, movement, put the foot down, push the hand, the heel opens up as you push the chi. And come up. And close, number 64. Feel the chi coating your body as healing light, illuminating every cell. That was the instruction. I'm now going to put music on. We'll go from the beginning to the end. Thank you so much for learning with me today. It's fun to see some faces I haven't seen in a while. So, um, in fact, before I do it, if anybody has any questions right now, I'm going to stop the um, recording. And see, stop record. And 